Two of the key components of this display are actually two of the items that we're addressing first. The asteroid itself and then display case that the model is going to be contained in. We've got some really exciting ideas that are going to make this a one-of-a-kind display for the museum. We're in the shop at Laut Design today where we've got all the equipment that we're going to use to fabricate the parts that we're designing uh, with the team. So we have the ability to take 3D CAD data that's being produced by one of the concept artists on the team and we can turn it into actual 3D physical parts uh, by using computer controlled machinery driven by software that we will code to do that work. So whether we're cutting away from a block of material or laying up material uh, or 3D printing it, um, we can use the combination of those two processes to fabricate our parts which will then be painted and wired up to create our finished model and it'll then be dropped into uh, the cabinet work or the case uh, that we'll use to display it. My portion of this project is to design the case for the display, uh, to engineer and to actually um, fabricate it. So what I wanted to essentially bring to the display is uh, of course something that is, has structural integrity that uh, uh, serves its purpose, holds a display, but does not bring attention towards it itself. I'm the uh, 3D modeler for the Thistledown project. I'm currently in charge of modeling the exterior and the interior of the Thistledown according to Greg Bear's literature. It's been really fun, kind of challenging so far. Um, it's definitely something different than I'm used to. I have a background in doing video game artwork and I've been fascinated with science fiction since I was a kid. So it's been a really good project for me to kind of jump in on it. Stay tuned for the next installment of the Thistledown Asteroid Project right here at the Museum of Science Fiction.